out of your arrest and your participation, your involvement in uh, trying to improve and, uh, our accessibility to those out there who would like to uh, gain access to our system. And uh, our, our IT department has worked hard in improving from the infrastructure and their training and their ability to be able to help address security, cyber security breaches. 90% uh, of those come from end users, those people in the uh, chain of use of our computer system. And y'all are aware that Chairman sent out something where he was uh, busted by the IT security. It was, it's a system, it got to, it's a system we contracted with called No Four. And the purpose of that is to make our employees and our users aware of the ease and access to our system. And so we can do all the work that we want to. We can spend all the money that is possible to spend. But if we have the back door unlatched, it does no good. And you are part of that back door. So your use of the system has to be made, you have to be made aware of your vital link in this process. And um, when, when the chairman went through that training, he had to be able to do it before he feels too bad. That only had to go through it three times. He just went through it one time. So, uh, but the part, the point of that is to make you aware of how easy it is for you to get a link or you can get a, to get an uh, email and you think, okay, it must be something I need to check on. And you click on it. Tremendous, tremendous. Amount. 
just want you to be aware that it does take a vigilance on your behalf to help keep our system as secure as we possibly can. Well, we all have a role and a responsibility to do that. Um, you touched on what my biggest concern is you're still counting commissioners. You receive an awful lot of information. A lot of that information comes from the county and comes from other resources that may come from NACO and stuff that you need to be aware of. Um, and so the thought that, you know, I'm just going to use it and I would say it, it the, the process is through the education. Um, the one I got called on, um, I likened it to an illegal speed trap because in all honesty, it, it, and, and I knew it the moment I clicked on it. I said, it looked like the county, but not quite. It wasn't quite what it should have been. And I knew it the moment I did it. But then it popped me up and said, you've been caught. So it wasn't anything that was actually a legitimate effort to for ransom. I mean, it was a test for me. And I failed that test. So I took some additional training. In fact, I got that completed. But the key point is, is that you'll find yourself as you go along to be a, a better person to be able to identify these issues. You know that when it comes from staff, you know when it's the right piece. And if it doesn't look right, it has just doesn't look right, pick up the phone and make a call. Did, did you try to send me this email or what? It just takes a minute. Well, the kind of, you don't want to avoid important communications and the efforts to get you communications that you need by simply just saying, well, I'm going to be safe and just not open up It's kind of like you can mail home. When you get 15 things at home, you, you can sort through there about three minutes, about three seconds. Which ones are important, which ones are trash. <laughs> But it's simple. I mean, it, it, you know, you know which ones you, you normally get. You know, you get normally, normally get an email from me, or you get an email from Joyce, or it's the ones you get from the county that's an employee of the county that you've never heard of. And you're like, I don't mess with them. But it, it's, it's, it's that type of stuff. Our IT uh, can't stop these things no. before they get to us. No, they, I mean, we can do it as much as we can do, but we, we can't vent all of them just simply because there's there's so many uh, ways that individuals can contact you. Um, and it may be Mark Weisenbaker or it may be Lamb's County Commission. But it, it's the, the key <coughs> is when you said to, to stop these people from contacting us, the key is what Mr. Pritchard had said earlier, is that we're getting hundreds and thousands of attempts already. And they are able to stop a lot of them. So they don't go in. They're doing that. They're working on that. But well, what's aggravating to me, and I understand what you're talking about, the trap and the test and all that, is for somebody within our organization to try to crap in. So that's aggravating. Well, let me clear. I got, I got too much going on in the world to play these kind of games. Well, it's not them. It's it's the, it's the folks that they're working it's with no to before. train. It's no before. So it's not really that's, like that's just my frustration yeah. point right there. I just, I just don't have time. Yes. But I understand the concept, and I need to be careful. If Joe's telling the truth, I got trapped three times. Also. And it's just, I just don't have time to sit there and go through this mess. I can tell you. Um, uh, You've been trapped? No, I haven't. But I can tell you that everybody is sub subject to receive so many. I receive so many junk emails, and it's just by virtue of having been a commissioner. Like, um, you know, so from, from, from mm -hmm. the, the party you're affiliated with, selling your email address to the different conferences you go to, or uh, sign up at those doggone little. Uh, market things, you know, at, at ACC GNO. I, I mean, I just so I'm deleting probably about 25 to 30 a day. Oh, I go through. You know, and, and, and so you know. I, 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 I have to. Yeah. I, that's yeah. a legit communication that I need. 
I delete it. If I delete someone who needed me, they'll email me back again or they'll call me. But on the first go round, if I don't do it, you're done. Let me ask something a little more technical. So, so is, is, is this, does it make us vulnerable, more vulnerable? Are we talking about our, our desktop computers? Are we talking about our, our county iPads? Are we talking about our cell phones? I mean, I was under the impression that with our cell phones, that, that there was another layer of defense, or, or they couldn't get in like they can if you open it on your computer at the office. No, I think, I remember right, mine was done on my cell phone. It's all tied into the network. <laughs> so if I open one of those links on my cell phone, we are just as vulnerable as if I were at the desk. Yes. Yes. Probably more so. So it's just a matter of being vigilant, you know, and, and being a little bit more cautious about it. You know, don't worry about that chick go away discount. Well, mine was a, uh, they treated me and said, you have a, a ethics violation complaint against you, number one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. You need to respond immediately or, you know, I'm all thinking it. Let me see what I've done. And see what I've done. <laughs> and then I got the ha ha the marks when I got the ha ha gotcha and I thought, yeah, that ain't real freaking funny because I got too much stuff to do. I'm going to email to go through. But we do have a responsibility, and the point of this is, is that we continue to be vigilant on it, but do not. Please don't get to a point where you say, I'm just going to not going to let you call me. Because that's how we have to communicate in today's society. Well, Mark and Scotty, I agree that that is aggravating. But if that had not been a test, it could have very conceivably cost a lot of money. So, yeah. All right. Still, actually. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> that, that changes. I agree. All right, watch for more testing.